What's going on everybody? Oregon Motorcycle back here with another episode and today we are installing heated grips. Now these are super cheapy um, just trying to make grips here and uh, let's see what we got here in the box. So as you can see, it just comes with the grips, some wiring here. Um, there's the switch here is on the grip itself. So there's five different positions. So again, cheaply made. We're gonna get these wired up and see see how they work. Um, so in order to do this the correct way, I wanted to wire this to where it's on my ignition. So there's no power to anything when the ignition is off. So I bought a relay here, okay? And then I bought a relay harness and uh, I bought a fuse. Um, no matter what, you need to put an inline fuse when you install these so you don't burn your bike up if something were to happen. Um, but yeah, I plan on putting a USB charger on this bike too and maybe some other um, accessories, but I'm not 100% yet. But the relay will be able to power, you know, my accessories and whatnot. So, um, and speaking of power, these are rated at, it says 35, 15 to 35 watts. Um, so that's about, I don't know, three amps at 12 volts, you know, somewhere around there. So it's not drawing too much power, but um, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to first hook these up to the battery. I'm just gonna straight hook them up to the battery and see if they work before I get in and tear all this bike apart and do all this work. Um, I have heard of these arriving dead. So we're gonna make sure they work and um, then we're gonna open this up, get the relay installed and get these wired up and mounted. I just have them hooked up straight up to the battery. So let's see. I just hooked this thing up to see if I could detect any amps to see, but uh, I can already feel them getting hot <clears throat> or warm, I should say. Oh yeah, they're definitely heating up. For sure, both of them. Okay, so they work. <clears throat> uh, looks like we have everything we need. Should be a simple install. shaving on the inside to loosen it up but it returns pretty good now mm. so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to route this wire mm. would you be good so uh, yeah while well, I'm trying to think about how I'm gonna route these wires I'm gonna go ahead and get the relay hooked up and get that tapped in and get some power up here all right so what I did is I pulled my fuse box right here and I'm looking for some kind of ignition uh, power source. So that will turn on when I turn the key on. Um, on my other bike, I did it right here off the main relay, but I can't find any power switching coming out of this main relay here. So I just went to the back of the fuse. I found one here, so I wanna show you guys. I have the positive probe stuck in, in the back of the wire that I think is gonna work. Um, and then we're just gonna ground this one out. And as you can see, there is no power there. And when I turn the ignition switch on, You'll see power come on so we're going to tap into this wire here and that's going to turn our relay on and off it's not going to carry a load it's just going to turn the relay on and off so let's we're going to disconnect the battery and get that wired up and check back in with you guys 
Alrighty, we've got it wired up. I've got the battery uh, hooked back up just because I like to test things as I go. So I've got the relay hooked up here. Okay, so look at here. Just This is the wire coming off that doesn't have the load. Okay, at your positive, and then you got the negative going to the negative. And you guys, I forgot uh, rings. So for now, I just have the wire clamped under here. It's kind of janky, but it'll definitely work fine for the time being until I get some rings. And then uh, I can wire this up a little bit better. Um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, but I wanted to leave it a little bit exposed so you guys could see. So basically, here's our hot lead going into the relay, okay? And then it dies at the relay. There's, it's not hot right now, okay? This is what's going to be feeding our, our grips and eventually a USB too. Um, so when I turn the ignition on, okay, this relay is fired and then it connects the power here and then it feeds power up front to to my accessories so there you go so now i'm going to get the power ran up through here up here get these wires routed and we should be good to go get it all button up button up um, probably gonna put some electrical tape around this butt connector kind of like to keep tape on the butt connectors it gives the connection a little bit more rigidity it might help keep a little water out of it so yeah we got the inline fuse here it's a 10 amp I didn't have anything smaller to put in there I'm sure a 5 amp would be adequate for these grips um, but I'd like I said I plan to put a USB on this same circuit too so a 10 amp will probably be adequate for USB and hand warmers um, but regardless we have the relay installed and the fuse we got the wires running up here underneath the bodywork and as you can see they come out right here um next time i take these fairings off i'll button these wires up a little bit better but i didn't take this gas tank cover off i just slipped it up i took this piece off and just slipped it up through there got them sitting here so i'm going to get this bike um, button back up get the seat on and get it off the stands and make sure everything turns good and uh, yeah we'll take it for a test drive uh, let me show you what i did over here um so basically for this wire here you know it turns with you know the throttle so i got it here it doesn't look too bad i don't know i might change it later um, but i didn't use the bracket that it came with i don't know if you guys can see in there at all but i put a tie strap here i gotta cut the thing i just tie strapped it to one of the cable holders back in there so it is secure and then i got enough slop here to go full throttle back and forth without any issues so yep there we go guys Till next time, Orgun Motorcycle.